Let's answer some of your questions. I'm going to call this series Questions for Ariane. Should you express and explain your triggers in a relationship as your boundary? This is a very good question. Now, this requires a little bit of understanding as well. First of all, in a relationship, you should always be able to communicate. We were never brought up taught how to have relationships, not just in a romantic setting, but relationships with anyone. We have a relationship to everything in this universe. We have a relationship to our phones. We have a relationship to any device, anything that exists in this universe. This is why most of my teachings are about relationships. Now, in a relationship regarding a romantic partner, what we realistically want to go towards is being able to communicate. And that doesn't necessarily mean I can say whatever I want to say and you have to be okay with it, but I should be able to express what my truth is and then we can communicate regarding that. And this works on both sides. Now, in terms of triggers and boundaries, those are not necessarily the same thing. A boundary is your personal truth and a boundary isn't something that you need to create out of thin air the way you recognize what your boundaries are are based on how it makes you feel. Now, if something happened and that triggers you, yes, of course, that's based on the way that it makes you feel. But a trigger doesn't necessarily give you the whole truth of what's going on in the moment. Let me give you an example. You may text your partner and then see that they read the message but not responded to you. Now, that could trigger you. And then if you explore that trigger, you will understand that maybe under that sensation of anxiety, you are feeling the emotion of fear. That's because that is connected to a core wound that I'm not good enough. We get to these core wounds instantly. So the exploration makes us understand what that trigger means. Through the exploration, I may understand that because I've not been responded to yet, that has taken me to give meaning that it's because I'm not important, therefore I'm not good enough. So this is triggering my core wound of not feeling good enough, of not feeling worthy. It may even trigger the core wound of being rejected or feeling like I've been rejected, which is still very valid because it's how you feel. But but that's not necessarily a boundary. If you were to explore that part of yourself and heal those parts of yourself, eventually you could come to a place in your life where you will send a message, see that the person hasn't responded and it wouldn't trigger you the same way. You might actually be completely okay with it. So it's not necessarily going against your personal truth, which is what your boundary is. So it's about understanding the difference. Is this a boundary of mine or is this a wound of mine? Both are valid and both are okay. It doesn't mean one is wrong and one is okay. It's not wrong to feel how you feel in those moments. In terms of relationships, the best way to move forward in a healthy way is to be able to work on yourself and at the same time your partner working on themselves. Be able to hold space for each other in that relationship. Be able to understand that we are both working on ourselves. To be able to have a conscious relationship is for both parties to be able to consciously start holding space for the other person. Start holding space for the wounds, for the triggers. Now that doesn't mean that anything you do is okay or anything that's done onto you is okay. A conscious relationship would look something like, look, if I'm triggered because you didn't message me back, you can hold space in understanding that this is a wound of mine. But just know that I am working on this wound and I'm working towards being able to get to a place where I'm not giving the same meanings in these same situations. A conscious relationship is about two people understanding that no one's perfect, being able to hold space for each other. I hope that helped. I've got more questions and I will make more videos.